Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how to solve this little issue that may have popped up for you inside of DaVinci Resolve 17 version beta 7. So say the NVIDIA driver 461.09 has some issues and you need to switch to a different driver. So we can do that pretty easily using GeForce Experience. So if you have installed NVIDIA on your Windows PC, then you go to the start menu and you can type in GeForce and you should see GeForce Experience there. So if you launch that program, then you'll have the ability to change your driver quite easily. So 461.09 is currently a game ready driver. And we can switch that over to a studio mode driver, which is more targeted at people who are going to be using apps like DaVinci Resolve or other 3D software. So the way we can do that at the very top is to click on these three dots in the top right hand corner. So when you do that, you'll be able to choose your driver preference. Currently, it may be set to game ready driver. So switch that over to studio driver and then a new driver section should appear. So right here, we're looking at NVIDIA studio driver. So we want to install that just in the same way we would when we were updating the game drivers. So you'll see uh, installation button over here. Go ahead and click that download the new driver. I'll go ahead and finish downloading here and then we'll continue. All right, so our driver is now downloaded. We need to hit Express Installation, and this should allow GeForce Experience to take care of the installation in the background. So just sit back for another minute. All right, so we have the installation complete. We can go ahead and click Close on GeForce, close out of that, and we're going to reboot DaVinci Resolve. So hit Quit, and then relaunch the program. And if everything goes well, it should start to load as normal. What I would recommend if you do run into any other issues is that since we did just install new graphics drivers, you may want to reboot your computer as well. That's usually a good idea whenever you install something major like updates or graphic drivers, that kind of thing. But here we can see that we're back into Resolve. I'll just double click on a project, launch it just to verify, and we're in. So if you're running into the same configuration errors inside of DaVinci Resolve 17 or above, I hope that this has helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my future video content.